Hello everybody and welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we start with Foundation, a strategy simulation city building game medieval time with beautiful graphics in my opinion. The game is out on version 1.5 in early access on Steam right now. It is a fun game. Um, we are playing with the map Valley here and of course we're not going to play this game barebone. The game has mod support so I'm already added quite a few mods as you can see here now on the list some of them add some ornaments some of them some decorations some of them add new production chains others improve gameplay mechanics and with that i hope you enjoy this one let's start the game and see you on the other side and here we are now already on a new valley map as you can see lots of space to build a beautiful river here in the center and now the first thing that we need to do um, is to choose a territory. So we do have quite a lot of territory tiles here, as you can see, and we have to choose one. And I think in this case here, we have two obvious choices. We have this one here up there because we have lots of building space. That is really stupid there. And over here, we have a little um, glove here with um, trees around it, a stone pile there, some um, herbs here or berries and the river just beside that so i think this is my favorite spot that we can choose here now so let's purchase this tile here we got it now next up what we need to do is we go for the village center so the game has quite an interesting building mechanic as we have villagers and they usually start to produce automatically and stuff like that um, it's a mixture of anno of the settlers of ostriff if you know this game and I think that's quite interesting. Now here we choose our village center there for a moment. So let's place it, I think, here. And as you can see, boom, we do have now already quite a few villages here. They have a name, Andra, she's 18 years old, female, and she's not very happy to live here. Well, I don't blame her for that because look at that. There's nothing around it if only a beautiful landscape that we have here now we do need to start with some basic productions usually we do get some quests there too as we progress in the game and i think the first thing that we should do quest completed is the village center extraction zone we don't need all of that what we need to do first is usually we go with well the lumber camp so where we can start producing some wood um and we have to decide where we want to have our productions then so i want to have my buildings here then people live here then along the river and over here as we do have the stone there hidden in the trees let's have the lumber camp here so we can chop down those trees there we can also move it around but i think in this case this is fine so that we have the first building now what we still need to do is we need to add some professions to those villages none of them have any professions there right now so we do have a builder now here and we should have two builders for the beginning there right so they're now starting to you know walk around here they have um their first mission now so building something like that we have quest completed um, place a lumber camp next up what we need is a gathering hut so we do need to get some berries here and berries are important for food obviously so let's have a little berry hut here a gathering hut here um, and the stone cutter camp right for the stone that we have so let's have the stone cutter camp just here beside the lumber camp so they are kind of like both together there and my villagers are now starting to build those houses there what I really like about this game with uh, the same with Ostrich for example is that you have these this road system you know so roads are being built then automatically um, on roads that are used quite often so here we can see already forming something um, the more people go around that one here. So there we have the first road appearing. So I really like that system because villages really do like dyna uh, look dynamic then with that. That's pretty cool there. Now we do have the lumber camp. We do need to assign a worker. So Nicole is on that one here. And for the gathering hut, let's have Morton. And Morton is now gathering berries. Nicole is gathering wood or well chopping down the woods and the stone cutter camp is still not finished um, We do need however a an extraction zone. So in this case here. We do need to Tell them where they need or where they can um, gather something So for the berries we have a gathering zone here and for the lumber hut and for the stone cutters We can have all of that here. So chop down those trees there um, and here we already have some free space and let's say also this area here they can chop it down right so along the river there I want to keep some trees here and there obviously 
But in this case, let's just get rid of those trees there too. Um, we do have finished some quests here now. Stonecutter Camp is also finished. So let's click on that and assign a new worker. So Sherry, she's now also chopping down stones. And what we can see here, the first path appears. So the goal is then to build houses around these paths that appear everywhere. And we got a really cool mod for that as well, the fences. So with the fences, you can build then fences along those paths. So people are really forced to go along them. And that's a really cool thing. I like that. So you can really um, decorate your town then quite a bit with those things there. Um, and here now, what we can see, they're chopping down. Perhaps we should assign a second worker on the forestry. So we do need lots of timber there. And in that regard, let's go for that. Now, we do have a new quest. Um, build a granary and assign new transport and assign berries to the granary. So let's go for the granary. That is where we store the food and stuff like that, right? It's a, another building here that we see. Um, a big building. And yeah, we should have the granary there in the town center more or less because obviously... Um, it's a quite a central point where people get the food and stuff like that. So in that case here, let's just have it, yeah, here I think, right? Just in the town center. There it is. And my builders should then go for it and build those things. And Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is on his work now building the granary for us. He's one of the villagers. And he's a serf, so there are different statuses of villagers too. You have the newcomers, you have the serfs, for example. And with them come different privileges and stuff like that. But we'll see that later. Right now, we have that. And one cool thing about Foundation is that it starts so simple. And it really gets complex the more you build and the more you expand around it. Then having all these production chains and stuff like that. You'll just see. Just enjoy the ride there now. Right, the granary is being built right now. We do have the gathering hut. I think one is enough. Trees are being chopped down as we can see here. And stone is being cut. We don't have that much stone, so I'm also inclined to assign another worker there, Andra. We still have some free people, right? Some free workers that we can assign there. And yes, we are missing some stone there. So having two stone masons now will be the better choice since we have lots of buildings to come. And the granary will soon be finished. Let's just have a look around here. Can we actually go for another territory already? Let's see. Yes, we could go for this one here if we have the gold. Or this one here or this one here. This is my favorite one then, obviously. But we do need lots and lots of gold for that. How we get gold? Well, we'll see that later. Now, the granary is finished. We have to choose now the berries as the first slot. And we have to assign a villager. That is a transporter now and Nick is now transporting goods from, for example, the gathering hut or all the goods that are allowed here and delivers them to that um, granary here. So that's one. Now you have a new quest, fill the needs of your newcomers, quest completed the granary, that's, that's another 100 gold. As we can see, so 500 gold we should have soon, the more quests we complete and fill the needs of your newcomers. Now build a well and build a market. The well, well, obviously for water production. Let's have the well and let's have the well. I think we should have that. Yeah, actually we could have the well here, right? So it fits in there just nicely between those two paths there that are forming. Having the well here does cost us a bit of uh, wood though, right? And stone. So Jesus is doing that now. He's working on that as we see. And the other thing is the market. Now the market is one of the first modular buildings that we have in this game. So module building means that we can add more and more modules to it. There's the market. And as we can see, those are the modules. And we can start placing, for example, a food stall here if we want to, right? So we place it here. And we can now add, it's not being built now, not until we start the construction. Here we can see how much it to costs in total. We could then actually add a, a good stall. We can still do that later too. So if I place it here now, as we can see, total cost goes up to 20 wood and stuff like that. In that case, let's get rid of it again. We have the food stall and the food stall does need, let's say, some food stall sign as well. So something here where people then can see, whoop, you can actually purchase some food here. There we have the sign for it. And we could have some barrels here as decoration. It's not that expensive anyway. And then we have some barrels here. So we can say like, there we have some 
food then lying around, a bench perhaps. Up here we can see that we do need the planks for the barrels, so we don't have that. So let's just start constructing on a very basic first market here with the food sign there. And speaking of planks, that is something we might actually go for right away is the sawmill over here. So with that we can then um, create some planks there. But let's just wait because there might be a quest for that later. I think Jesus, ah, Joanne is building it. Oh, there's Jesus coming. Look at that. He's hard at work there, as usual. And isn't that looking nice here with the well there? Our granary where we have now 30 berries stored. And there the market is completed. What the market now needs still is a market tender and the berries that we need to assign for that. Right, so let's take one of them that hasn't gotten anything yet. I think, yeah, Shuan. We don't need to build this at this point. Market tender. Oh, wait a second. Who's her, who's she? Stonecutter. Let's go with Sherry. She's a market tender now. Right, so quest completed. That's another 100 gold for us. And she's now getting the berries here and selling it to my villagers. And with that, we can then make some money with that. You know, so villagers purchase those things and they then earn money with that. Now, raise the happiness of the village and assign job to all your villagers. We do need immigration probability. So if we have fulfilled those demands, people would like to move to our village and that's the way you grow. Right now we have eight serfs here, but we want to grow that. Can we go for, no, we cannot go for um, residential areas yet. That works then quite similar to City Skylands where you just paint the residential area and people move there and build their houses and stuff like that. That's what we want to have here then. Right now, raise the happiness of your villages. It goes up. As you can see, the more people purchase those berries. Berries make them happy. And that's it. And with that, we have finished it. And from the two people who were passing by, two decided to join your village. So now we are 10 people. But we need to wait a bit for them to arrive. I don't know where they're coming from, though. From some outer edge of this map here. And then we have two more workers that can do something for us. In this case, probably the sawmill that we need. Because we do need the planks. Now, with the first people coming to our village now, the message um, we get a message from the king. And the kingdom recognizes your efforts in establishing your settlement. I am but your humble servant. We get four weapons for that and four tools. And now we have the labor estate panel as well. Um, we have now two things that we need to do. First, we need to, get, need to get some residential area here. We do have enough wood, so let's do that first. Residential area here, and we just need to paint it now. And since we have lots of space down here, let's just place a few of those residential places here now. So here people can now settle just along that. Going all the way down here, right? So as we can see now, the first construction sites appear now. They cost me 10 wood each. And people will then just place their houses there, build their houses there. Um, especially my builder here. In this case here, let's have a second builder again. So this whole process here is a bit more quick. A bit quicker there. And there we also will have some additional houses then with some mods here. So the variety is increased. And this is something that is very important for my people, so that increases the happiness quite a bit. And as we can see, houses appear and paths appear then as well to those houses there. Pretty cool, I think. And with additional villages and houses coming in, we do get taxes then. So we have an income of 23 now from the villagers and that means that we are making some money there. And there the first houses appear now. Over here, and this one looks rather cozy. Of the two people that were passing by zero uh, decided to join your village. That's very unfortunate, but in that case we can't do anything about that. We got some houses there, and yeah, people are happier because of that. We do have a good income there. Um, 485 coins that we have right now. Let's have a look at my territory there again. This is 500, right? Yes, we cannot afford this one here now. I would love to, but I cannot. So we do need to still do um, a Lord Manor that we need to build. So we need to build ourselves a little, well, you might say, manor that is also 
modular again, like the market, you know, so that we have the Lord Manor. It does need planks, however, so it's time now for the sawmill. And we can place the sawmill then right into this area here. Let's see, just like that. Very good. There we have that, just cost us a bit of wood there, and a bit of stone perhaps, yeah. And then we just need someone working in that. More people are purchasing the berries here, so we need to be careful that we have enough berries at all times, right? Right now we only have one berry, so we don't have enough. Let's assign a second worker here to the, uh, the gathering hut, that we get more berries. Those resources here, by the way, uh, are infinite as far as I can see. So there we have the stone and there we have the berries. The only thing that's not infinite is the trees. And so far, I think we can then regrow them. Right, and we do want the Lord Manor. That is this building here, that's the core. And I think it's a good position here to have the Lord Manor on the, the river. So that's a good location. Usually I want to have it like up here in the mountains somewhere, but obviously we're not that far away yet or, or over there yet. We can't purchase those territories there. So I can rebuild it later though if I want to in a better location that is. And a little bit later, we have the sawmill finished. A carpenter, Jesus, is now in there. So he decided he's not a good builder anymore. And he wants to process woods into planks. And he's doing that now for us. So we do have Jesus here now. Maintenance cost is 15 gold. So what we can see is that our um, income is getting lower here now. Because those buildings cost us something. Right? In this case here, we do have the planks now. Having four already. That's good because we do need the planks for the Lord Manor that we have here. It costs us 10 um, planks, at least the basic version of it. And in this case here, we do have the Lord Manor building first, so that we have here along the river. But that's not enough, right? We do need a door for that. So those buildings are also modular, so we can add now a door to those slots here if you want that. Right, so let's have a door here. As we can see now, the cost is going up. We could then even have some towers beside it, right? On two sides, having those towers there. That's already looking pretty cool, but that's just way too expensive for what we can do right now. So let's get rid of that. Let's see. We do have some hedges here and stuff like that. A wall fountain that we could add on something here on the side. How much is that? 100 gold. Hmm. Oh, and polished stone, we don't have that. So we should be happy with that, that stone and planks, and let's start the construction of that. Now, in that Lord Manor, we do need that to promote our villagers then to um, higher statuses. And that's the quest that we have here right now. So promote your first newcomers, build the Lord Manor, um, assign a great whole function, and at the end of the month, promote villagers to serfs, and unlock the warehouse from the labor state panel once that is done. And as we can see, two builders, that's quite enough. The door is finished. And all we need now is the Lord Manor building itself. But for that, we do need some resources, obviously. And a new path forms as well, as people are walking to and fro to that. A new house is appearing here, very good. And so our little village here grows and grows. Do we have enough berries now again for my people? Oh, we're rather low on berries, right? Oh no, we have 41 in reserve, 40 berries now left. That's quite enough. And one more villager joined our village here, very good. We still have some space here. Let's have a look at my extraction zone as well. So we do have, this one's empty now out of, um, out of wood here so we can still add some more here and in this case here let's say no to that area here so we can of course remove it again if we don't want that and i rather have my manor here beside a few trees there right we still have enough wood here and we could also go for this uh, for those guys here those trees there get rid of that's still enough and then we fill uh, built the lord manor now our first residential building for us, the Lord, that is, and we do need to select the function now that is in this case here, the Great Hall, 
And here we will be able to promote villages to higher statuses. Right, so that's that. Assign a great hole. And now we just need to wait a bit for villages then to be able to promote at the end of the month. That is something. And another thing that we need to do is we can unlock new buildings as well. We do have the estate um, window here. So that's kind of like researching. And it costs us a bit for tools that we have. And in this case here, having the warehouse, for example, is one of the quests here. So let's unlock the warehouse. And there we have that quest completed. And I think we should build it now too. In the warehouse, then we can store resources and stuff like that. And also you have a new quest, unlock a trade route to get tools, right? In this case here, trade menu up here, we do have something. So this is La Rochelle, selling salt for gold and buying um, honey and stuff like that. But that's not for trading tools, right? For 50 gold, we would get tools with Northbury. That's 20 planks that we need for that. So we need to wait for those 20 planks now um, for them so that we get that. And two more people decided to join. Very good. That means more workforce. Let's build us a warehouse too. That's this, this building here. Just a question of where we should build a warehouse, right? Let's build it here beside the granaries. Those things are rather close by. Or should we have it over here? Oh yeah, we could have it here too. Right, that we have the warehouse in the village center there. So that we have the granary here and then the warehouse over here. That's being built now. The 15 planks is rather quick. The stone, uh, yeah, the stone. We should probably add another village here as a stone mason. We do have enough anyway now, people, right? So in this case here, to chopping down the woods, to gathering the berries there. Very good. And I think what she just told me is that we have a free territory to buy. Is that right? No, I cannot get any other territory. I thought I, I heard something about a free territory is available now. But I think we can purchase a territory now. In this case here, either go for this one or this one there. I think for this one here, because we have lots of space here. And here, uh, the two new villages are coming. And as we can see, so they're always coming from... Yeah, over here, somewhere far away. And because they're always coming from the same direction, they're forming a path of their own now. That's pretty cool too, so I know where they're coming from. And this is kind of like our trade route then as well. Our trade path there, our exit to the map. That is something we need to know. There we have the warehouse. In the warehouse, we can now decide what we want to have here. So in this case here, for example, we want to store, of course, the planks in here. We want to store some wood in here if we have that. Um, definitely some stone. And we do want to have a villager, Daryl, who's the transporter now for that warehouse. He's delivering the goods over here then. To that warehouse there. After a little bit of time, we do get a status on our promotion. My lord, for a certain cost, you can promote some of your villages to higher statuses. Promoting villages will allow you to generate extra revenue from their new needs. So we do need to pay some gold here. And then we could promote some of them to the next level. In this case here, those guys there want to level 2. Um, this is unemployed. Let's pay him 1. And those guys there too cost us a bit. But now we have enough promotions for today. So lots and lots of new buildings. Or, well people there we have finished the quest there too and your army is growing stronger we will offer you some more challenging missions from now on and long live the loot our king that case here right how many planks do we have 27 planks very good so now we can open up our new trade route here north bury allegiance to yeah tools i guess whatever that means and here we have now 50 gold for some tools and he would also purchase ber berries there for gold. That's pretty good. And planks. And let's unlock the trade route. So trade is enabled now. We do have that. Another free cherry tree that we get. And we do now have um, the new quest here. Set up a first trade route. Um, I think in this case here. Can we now go for a new cherry tree? Let's have a look there over here. Yes, this one's free now. Um, we don't need to put or spend any money on that. So let's purchase this one here. A new territory so there we expand it now a bit um, and we do need that because we do now have 15 people here living already so the village is growing we do need more and I also need to have a new extraction zone so this this area here we can get rid of those trees here now since we want to expand our village obviously and have some residential areas there too 
in that case here, let's have another woodcutter then assigned to that. So three of them, so we can really speed up the chopping down. Um, yeah, we do need space, as we can see. We do have some houses here now in the middle, beside our Lord Manor. We have the warehouse. We do have a transporter on that, assign um, tools to that. So in this case here, let's assign tools to the trade uh, to the warehouse there and allow tools purchased from the trading panel, right? We can accept that now. And then we go to trade, trading resources. And here we can see the tools somewhere. There they are. And we can allow them now to say, we want to purchase five of them. Buy until we have reached five. In this case here, buy until we have reached 20, right? That's that. So now we purchase that in the warehouse. In this case here, since we are, or since this guy here wants to purchase um, planks as well, and we do have the planks here, we can then say um, sell planks until we have only 15 left, right? So whenever it's full, um, they would purchase us some planks there and we could earn some money with that. So that's something that we should keep in mind. Now, trees are being chopped down here. We definitely do need the space for that. We do have more money now again. We are almost capped there. And so far, our village looks really cool and we'll continue here then the next episode. Stay tuned.